Hey, welcome back to the wellness page. My name is Tiffany. I am the health educator for the wellness center. It's Friday. Yay. So I'll be putting together a simple recipe for you. We're actually going to be making hummus. So one of the first ingredients you'll be needing is garbanzo beans. So whether you choose canned or in a bag, either or it doesn't matter. Can just kind of speeds up the process and makes it go by a little bit faster um, versus you having to cook the beans on your own. So I actually have a bag from Ramona Farms that I'm going to be utilizing. So one of the first steps I'm going to take is I want to get that on the stove. We're going to do half a cup of garbanzo beans to two cups of water. If you need a, a larger quantity, then we will double our ingredients. So you can do one cup of garbanzo beans to four cups of water. Once you get the beans on the stove, you'd want to let it hit a rolling boil. Once that happens, um, turn the heat down and let it simmer for about an hour. Once your garbanzo beans are done, you wanna drain them and set them out to cool. Okay, so we cooked our beans and it's about 15 ounces, um, one can if that's what you were choosing to utilize. Um, I think another part that makes the process a little bit longer is taking off the skin. So if you want your garbanzo beans to give your hummus more of a smooth texture, then you'd want to take the skin off. So once it's done cooking and it's you set it out to cool, you would just rub the bean in between your fingertips and the skin does come off. Then you'd add it. So all of this here in the blender has already, the skin has already been removed. So again, it's about one can, about 15 ounces. And then another ingredient you'll want to do a garlic clove, one clove of garlic. I'm gonna add that in. And two tablespoons of olive oil. I already added that, so it's already in the blender. Again, two tablespoons. And then we're going to do a fourth teaspoon of salt for taste. So again, a fourth teaspoon of salt for taste. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now you can choose to um, have that freshly squeezed or um, you can utilize the one um, from a bottle. Again, totally up to you. It's usually preference. So again, we're going to do a tablespoon of lemon juice. So there we have our tablespoon. We're going to add that. Then we're gonna do three fourths teaspoon of ground cumin. The last thing we're going to add two tablespoons of water. Okay, those are the ingredients we'll be using for today. And once your, once your um, garbanzo beans are all blended, you can taste and add more if you feel like you need more cumin or you need another clove of garlic. 
um, whatever you'd like. Also, another tip is if you have a strainer, when you're done with cooking your beans, um, you can just strain the extra water so that if anything, if you need more liquid, you can add that as you're blending. Again, you're gonna blend until it's very smooth. And then we'll just put it in a bowl and refrigerate it and you can eat it with um, wheat thins, vegetables. Um, you can even have it with maybe a sandwich or like using a whole wheat tortilla, spreading it and having your lunch meat in between or um, using pita bread. So again, there's various ways that you can use hummus. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up and then we will post pictures. Again, my name is Tiffany. I hope that you all have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe, mask up, and don't forget to look out for our upcoming events. Thank you.